Mwai Kibaki na hapa kwamba nitakuwa mwaminifu wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Becoming a president a crowning moment for any person from any family Kenyans have voted fought and died to elect their presidents Only one Kenyan family has experienced this two times. The Kenyatta's. Hi, Uhuru Kenyatta. In 2013, 60 years after his father became Kenya's first president, Uhuru Kenyatta rode to power in an election where his supporters claimed that he was too rich to be corrupted. Where I'd vote for you as a leader, if it was even something like for a president, that you already have a wealthy background, so you see no need to steal. Um, you were already born into power. The Kenyattas were the epitome of Kenyan aristocracy, wanting to be seen to be above the corruption of other political elite that had, for years, ruined Kenyan lives. But confidential documents exposing a network of secretive offshore companies belonging to members of the Kenyatta family now cast this legacy in new light. The global leak is called the Pandora Papers. It's a vast archive of never-before-seen documents from 14 service providers who sell secrecy to rich clients from around the world. This leak is really Panama Papers on steroids. This is the Pandora Papers because we think we're opening a box on a lot of things. We're looking at about 12 million documents from 14 different service providers. These are law firms, um, firms that set up secret offshore accounts for people in multiple jurisdictions. In the case of the Kenyattas, the Pandora Papers detail ownership of an expensive home in an exclusive UK neighborhood and an investment portfolio belonging to one of them over 30 million US dollars. The investigation has not found any evidence to suggest corruption relating to the first family. What it has found is a trove of documents showing that members of the family have used offshore locations for at least 10 years. The Kenyattas are a very wealthy family with wealth that stretches into the hundreds of millions of dollars and spans numerous sectors of Kenya's economy. They founded what is now the largest dairy company in Kenya and co-own one of Kenya's largest private banks. For a family with such deep roots in Kenya's economy, their foray into the world of offshore networks begs the question, why the investment in global secrecy networks? The family surname comes from Jomo Kenyatta, Kenya's first president. Seen as one of the founding fathers of the Republic, Kenyatta was imprisoned by the British colonial regime released after eight years in 1961. He would be sworn in as Prime Minister two years later, then became president in a constitutional change in 1964. At the same time, Jomo Kenyatta's wealth began to grow, mostly through acquisition of large tracts of land previously owned by European settlers. 1962, there was the Lancaster House Conference. At that conference, one of the most intractable of issues was the question of what do we do to the white settlement in Kenya and what do we do to the land question in Kenya, where even the British government from 1932 had set up the Catalati Commission. And the agreement was that um, land would be obtained by the Kenya government by buying it from the white settlers. But unfortunately, they, haven't, they didn't bring in equity in terms of our dispossessed thousands and thousands of families who today still languish in a lot of poverty because without employment in this country and without land, you are an enslaved person. Standing beside Jomo Kenyatta was his fourth wife, Ngena Kenyatta, better known as Mamangena Kenyatta. Married off to the 61-year-old Kenyatta at the age of 18, Mamangena would, as First Lady, 
become entangled in some controversial deals. Then, in 1978, Jomo Kenyatta died and power passed from him to his vice president, Daniel Arap Moy. The 24 years of Moy's rule entrenched a kleptocracy founded under Jomo Kenyatta. These were quiet years for the Kenyattas, who carried on consolidating their wealth. The time away from Kenya's seat of power also allowed for a renewal of the Kenyatta name, which, by 1978, had been mentioned in connection to controversy. But 24 years later, in 2002, a young Uhuru Kenyatta, Mamangena's oldest son, would be thrust into Kenyan politics, running to succeed President Moi. A few years after, overtures to secrecy jurisdictions by family members were made. And over time, they became sophisticated players in the offshore world. I, Uhuru Kenyatta. What the Pandora Papers leaks reveal is a complex web of companies, foundations, and trusts owned by members of the Kenyatta family in secrecy jurisdictions, holding millions of dollars worth of assets belonging to members of Kenya's first family. Trusts, shell companies, and foundations have legitimate and legal uses, but as has been observed, especially in the wake of the world's largest global documents leak, these entities are often used to hide wealth by the corrupt and criminal elite across the world. It is really manipulating the legal framework. And that's why they are lawyers, obviously, to manipulate the, that you are actually moving within the gray area.